Well, it's winter again and the humidity is low. It's time to test anti-static products. Last winter, I found that the anti-static brush doesn't remove static. It just doesn't add static. This year, I'm moving on to test the Milti ZeroStat. This video will be split into three sections. How to use it, what's the use of that little cappy thing, and finally, does it even work? The instructions on the box are simple. Point the gun and pull the trigger slowly. This throws positive ions at the record. Then you release the trigger slowly, which creates negative ions. The idea is that after this, the record should have a neutral charge. I'm a big fan of these simple instructions. However, search up how to use a zero stat in Google and you get all sorts of insane rituals that people go through, which actually shouldn't be much of a surprise. It's kind of par for the course in the vinyl world. I tell you what, if we don't get good results with our simple instructions from the manufacturer, then we will try some other more demanding methods. Simple is always best if it's an option. I even use mine with the record spinning so I can hit it with a record brush right after. This cap is an indicator light that lets you know if your zero stat is still working. Insert it into the end of the gun, find the open slot, and pull the trigger slowly in a dark spot. If it glows, then the zero stat still works. For the test, I play through the entire side of the record. This allows the static to build up from friction with the stylus. Our first test is a control with no zero stat. Our second test is with the zero stat. I think there's a huge improvement and is definitely worth picking up, especially if you live in a cold, dry climate like I do. The most basic method of use works fine as well, and there's no need for more elaborate methods.